Alright, SummerSlam is only a few days away, and the matches look set. Seth Rollins will face Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship. Kofi Kingston will defend the WWE Championship against Orton. Bayley will defend the SmackDown Women's Championship against Ember Moon. Kevin Owens will face Shane McMahon. Finn Balor will face Bray Wyatt. AJ Styles will defend the United States Championship against Ricochet. Becky Lynch will face Natalya in a submission match for the Raw Women's Championship. Charlotte Flair will face the returning Trish Stratus. And Dolph Ziggler will face Goldberg, which is so weird. Now there might be more matches announced, but for the moment, these are the matches. Let me start off with Balor vs. Wyatt. In April, Bray Wyatt began appearing in the sinister taped segments called Firefly Funhouse. A month later, Wyatt revealed an ultimate ego called The Fiend. Two months later, Finn Balor appeared as a wild card on an episode of Raw, and during his match, Bray Wyatt appeared and hit Sister Abigail on Balor. On Raw reunion, Bray Wyatt appeared out of nowhere and applied the Manable Claw on Mick Foley. The next night on SmackDown, Balor challenged Wyatt to a match at SummerSlam. Now, these two already had a match against each other at No Mercy in 2017. That match wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great. Either. Hopefully these two have a better match this time around. Becky Lynch and Natalia. At WrestleMania, Becky Lynch won both Brands Women's Championships and defended them until Money in the Bank where she lost the SmackDown Women's Championship to Charlotte. Then lost it to the current champion Bayley who cashed in her briefcase. She won earlier in the night. On the July 15th episode, Natalya won a fatal four-way elimination match to become the number one contender in Becky at SummerSlam. It was announced that the match at SummerSlam will be a submission match. These two had a matchup at Battleground in 2016, and it was dull, but maybe this time around the Toronto crowd will make this match even better. AJ Styles vs. Ricochet On the June 24th episode of Raw, AJ Styles returned to Raw and faced Ricochet. The next week, Styles faced Ricochet again, but this time it was for the United States Championship. Ricochet won this match, but after the matchup, Styles along with Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson attacked Ricochet, which meant that Styles turned heel for the first time in over two years, and that the club was reunited after nearly three. At Extreme Rules, Gallows and Anderson helped Styles win the United States Championship from Ricochet. Next week, the club were renamed to the OC and said that they were the official, original, and only club that matters. The name OC constantly reminds me of the teen show from the 2000s. The next week, Ricochet won a gauntlet match to become the number one contender to the United States Championship. This match will probably be better than the one at Extreme Rules, and I hope they steal the show. At Money in the Bank, Bailey won the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match, and later that night cashed in the briefcase on Charlotte to become the SmackDown Women's Champ. On the July 16th episode of SmackDown, Bailey selected Ember Moon to be her opponent at SummerSlam. Two weeks later on SmackDown, Bailey and Ember teamed together against Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. After Bliss and Cross won the matchup, Bailey hit the Bailey to Bailey on Ember. I don't know. What to say about this matchup it could turn out to be great i don't know charlotte faces the returning trish stratus on the july 23rd episode of smackdown charlotte complained about how she isn't on the summerslam card nonetheless charlotte announced that she will be at summerslam regardless of having a match on the card or not the next week trish stratus returned and was a guest on jerry lawler's king's court Charlotte interrupted the segment and challenged Stratus to a match at SummerSlam. Charlotte then insulted Trish, which led to Trish accepting this challenge. I believe that Charlotte is the best women's wrestler in the WWE, and now she finally gets to face the 7-time women's champion Trish Stratus, so this looks like a great matchup. Brock Lesnar defends the Universal Championship against Seth Rollins. These two have been feuding on and off for the past 4 years. At WrestleMania, Rollins outsmarted Lesnar to win the Universal Championship. At Money in the Bank, Lesnar won the damn briefcase and he wasn't even in the damn match. For weeks, Lesnar teased cashing in on Rollins until Extreme Rules where Lesnar finally cashed in on Rollins and won the Universal Championship once again. The next night, Rollins won a 10-man battle royal to become the number one contender for the Universal Championship at SummerSlam against Lesnar. Two weeks later, Lesnar destroyed Rollins with several F5s, including some on a damn steel chair. Then after Rollins was wheeled into an ambulance, Lesnar pummeled him and gave him an F5 on the damn stretcher. Last night, Rollins came out with a steel chair, but Lesnar foiled that plan and destroyed him once again. After the beating, Rollins guaranteed that he'd beat Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. I didn't want Lesnar to face Rollins once again, as I don't know if they could outdo that damn WrestleMania match. It was short and it was sweet. Like, Dolph Ziggler faces Goldberg. This is the weirdest match on the card. Imagine three years ago you were told that Dolph Ziggler would face Goldberg at SummerSlam. I'd laugh at the prospect of that. Dolph Ziggler started a feud with The Miz. Two weeks ago on SmackDown, Ziggler super kicked Shawn Michaels, which once again was kind of a tease for a future match between these two that I know is probably not going to happen. But last week, it was leaked that Goldberg was going to be Ziggler's opponent at SummerSlam. 
And lo and behold, it was Goldberg as last night he came out and signed the contract for the match. This match is most likely going to end up being a damn squash match. I don't expect it to be a show stealer or even a good match, but yeah, that's all I think. By the way, that switch in music to Sigler last night was awesome. No pun intended. Kofi Kingston defends the WWE Championship against Randy Orton. This is my favorite match of this year's SummerSlam. It's the match I'm looking forward to the most. These two obviously have a long history as in 2009 and early 2010. These two feuded with each other. Now clearly you remember when Orton called Kofi stupid in a damn match for forgetting the end. Anyways, Kofi won the WWE Championship at WrestleMania from Daniel Bryan. Randy Orton pinned Kingston in a six-man tag team match a few weeks ago. The next week, Kofi chose Orton to be his opponent at SummerSlam. Kofi was talking about his iconic moment in Madison in Square Garden back in 2009. Kofi said that Orton used this influence to hold him down and prevent him from entering the main event scene. Orton replied by saying that what Kofi said was true and that Kofi wasn't ready then and wasn't even ready now. Orton then said he is the reason why Kofi won the WWE Championship because Orton hurt Ali which led to Kofi taking his spot in the Elimination Chamber. Orton said that Kofi's fairy tale will end with three letters. Obviously you know the letters are V D. This is the match that I'm most looking forward to. I have a feeling that Orton's going to win this one as SmackDown is going to be on Fox in a few months and they need a very big name to lead the brand. So yeah, that's what I think. I think Orton's gonna win this thing and be the face of SmackDown come this fall. Shane McMahon versus Kevin Owens. Owens questioned Shane's choices on the July 2nd episode of SmackDown. Kevin Owens turned face after hitting the stunner on Dolph Ziggler later that night. Next week, Owens interfered in Ziggler's match and hit the stunner on Shane O'Mac. At Extreme Rules, Owens defeated Ziggler in 17 seconds. Even though Shane banned Owens from SmackDown, he always found a way to strike Shane at the perfect moment. Owens challenged McMahon to a match at SummerSlam, which if Owens lost, he would leave the WWE. Shane accepted. I hope they add a stipulation for Shane on tonight's SmackDown, but I highly doubt it. Maybe they have something crazy planned for this match, but who knows what will happen. I have low expectations for this match. Who knows, maybe Shane O'Mac will climb some building in Toronto and jump off it. I don't know. Those are all the matches at SummerSlam for the moment. I hope they add a hair versus mask match between Rey and Andrade. Surely Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross are going to be at the event. Yeah, they, they, they most likely will be at the event. Ali and Shinsuke in an Intercontinental Championship match, I hope so. Owen will Roman Reigns' attacker be revealed before SummerSlam? Yeah, we obviously know it's most likely going to be Daniel Bryan. And that's all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.